the East Long Meadow Public Library Board of Library Trustees meeting for September 20th, 2017 is called to order. It is now the appointed hour, namely 6 o'clock p.m. And uh, I would like to say that LCAT is here, broadcast the, uh, LCAT is here recording this meeting for future broadcasts. Uh, I do not see any guests present. Let us uh, call the roll. Charlie Gray, Chair. David Boucher. Cindy McNaught. Layla Johnston. Melanie Manheim. Virginia Robbins. Diane Tiago. Very good. Uh, it's nice to have 100% participation today. Uh, everybody's back from vacation. Doesn't seem possible. The summer's already gone. But uh, winter will be here before we know it, and then winter will be gone, so we'll have something else to talk about. First, uh, I, uh, second item on the agenda is the minute, minutes for the last meeting of August 23rd, and uh, they were distributed, Layla distributed them earlier electronically. Um, I hope everyone's had a chance to look them over. Uh, are there any if you haven't, take a quick gander. If they, if you haven't had a chance to look at them, uh, take a peek. And uh, I would just ask if there are any questions, comments, additions, or corrections. say seeing none I'd entertain a motion to uh, accept the minutes as submitted I'll second it you're going to make the motion I'll second it or would, uh, would someone make the motion oh, I'll make a motion or, yes I will and then would someone uh, I'll second, second it, it? it motion made and second any further discussion mm -hmm. all those in favor aye, aye. aye. meetings are uh, the minutes are accepted as submitted next item of business Guests opportunity to address the board. Absent guests, no top, no opportunity. We're moving right along very quickly. <coughs> Director's report. Layla, you have the floor. Thank you. Thank you. Um, again, I'll keep my report relatively brief since we have the strategic plan that we'll be discussing later. Uh, but just to keep everybody abreast, um, Bay State Elevator reprogrammed the emergency call button to connect anyone pressing it directly to the police department in case of elevator malfunction. So um, previously the police department did a test of the line, determined that the line was not automatically connected to them. What will happen is that uh, we will be notified, staff will be notified, as well as the police department at the same time, so they can send somebody out as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, and if we need to call in, that's extension 1590 to reassure the person that help is on the way. Mm -hmm. um, the final draft of the strategic plan is in your packets. I want to thank everyone for their edits and suggestions. And again, thank you the community for uh, all of your helpful input on that. The outdoor games collection that was sponsored by the Friends was a welcome addition to our circulating collection this summer. Uh, the games circulated 31 times overall and the most popular were the croquet set, the beanbag toss, the lawn toss, and the lasso golf. I want to thank you to the friends and also to Melanie for uh, soliciting the donated games and offering to help store the games until next season. Uh, and because of the popularity, we're looking at expanding our collection of board games that also circulate. Hmm. All throughout the month of September, the library is sponsoring a food donation drive on behalf of the East Long Meadow Food Pantry, which is run by the Council on Aging. The food pantry is open <coughs> on Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. For any East Long Meadow resident who needs help, um, Carolyn Brennan, who runs the Council on Aging, said they're currently serving about 80 families oh. right now. And um, during this time of year, donations are not as free-flowing as they are, for example, during the holidays. Um, so uh, the staff really wanted to help the food pantry, and we decided to do a fine amnesty. Anyone who brings in a non-perishable 
food item can have up to one dollar of fines, overdue fines waived. So it's been very successful. We've had to take two loads of foods up to the pantry so far and you can see a nice display that was made by the staff out by the giving wall. Uh, so thank you again to the circulation staff for coordinating that. And for programs and outreach, we had the East Long Meadow Fire Department here at the library August 24th. Uh, participants learned about fire safety protocols and were allowed to take a tour of the fire engine. It's very exciting. We had 71 participants at this event who were very enthusiastic. The summer reading finale held at Interstate 91 had 221 participants. And thank you again to the staff for all of their hard work in contributing to another successful summer reading program. Yesterday, our library was host to CW Mars Users Council meeting. Uh, 60 member libraries sent their representatives, who are directors or their proxies, to discuss and vote on member assessments and policy. And our final outdoor movie will be presented in cooperation with the Parks and Recreation Department um, this coming Friday, September September 22nd, fingers crossed. Oh. <laughs> We've been rained out in the previous movies. Uh, as of right now, it's 0% forecast for rain. Um, so thank you. Thank you. We are hoping that the show will go on. So <laughs> The show must go on. That's right. Um, I had, uh, thank you, that's, that's a good, uh, good report. I, I was just, I, I think this, uh, uh, safety feature that's been added with the emergency call button in the, uh, uh, elevator, uh, is a, is a good one, and it's nice to know we have that in the event that there could be a, a malfunction or some other uh, event that would cause the elevators to stop or the doors not to open or something like that. Uh, as I saw the button, emergency call button, my mind immediately kicked into action. And I was, I was thinking, uh, is there such a thing as an emergency call button uh, using similar, the same technology to put it behind our main circulation desk? Uh, if, if someone needs assistance in, in, the, in the front hall or someone may trip and fall down the stairs or something like that and a button might, might go to uh, someone who, who could uh, call for help, uh, especially if it's plugged into the police department. Is that something that's possible or is it? I don't know. I'm, I can look is into it. Is it worth asking about? Yeah, 911 um, might Spe actually be faster. Especially since it's plugged into the police mm -hmm. department. But I can look into it for you, sure. It would be worth, it, worth sure. asking. You know, it's just another yeah. uh, arrow in our uh, safety quiver, as they say. Excuse me, Charlie. Yes. Uh, my daughter is a cardiac nurse down in Boston. Okay. And she asked if we had a defibrillator. Uh, yeah, that's a good we question. We have one at uh, Town Hall, but we don't have one for this side no. of the building. Mm -hmm. So, because I knew there were... Yeah, the fire department uh, received a grant maybe, gosh, this was maybe six months ago. I went to a training on how to use the defibrillator. Um, and so with that, they were able to get two. And they installed one in town hall near the very front doors and then another one at the Council on Aging. So if there's another grant round, the library will be included. Wonderful. Oh, good. Are they expensive? We would also need to make sure everybody was trained Absolutely. to use it. I the the, fire, department, uh, the fire departments have been very proactive in that. And they they yeah. usually mm -hmm. provide the training uh, <coughs> once the uh, funding for the defibrillators are, are uh, obtained or is obtained. Uh, well, that, yeah, keep your eyes and ears open. Uh, I your, will. your thought would be that it, it would be a perfect place to have one here, I assume, Jenny, huh? Yeah, I, I would agree. Through my daughter. Oh, absolutely, I agree. Because it was, it was a little bit different when the fire department was across uh, the street. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, so. it, it, it in the hallway. As long as people know where it is, in the hallway. Uh, in the hallway in the town hall, because our library is, as mm -hmm. we all know, connected directly to that li to that hallway in town hall. It's in the hallway uh, near the front door of the town hall. 
uh, and people know that it's there, um, or people can tell other people to go there. And we have uh, Layla, certainly, who's trained in it, uh, and other people in town hall uh, who are also trained in it. <clears throat> uh, that's, a, that's a step in the right direction. And uh, getting to it and getting it in here, it's not, um, you, you have to have the train. you should have the training, but it's not super sophisticated training. Uh, I mean, it, you have to pretty much follow the directions, uh, but it's it's really been a lifesaver, and I'm familiar with it, and I uh, I endorse that. I would endorse that if we have another whack at it. And this is a logical place to have it because of uh, the folks that use our library on a regular basis, certainly. Um, good good point, Jenny. Layla, are you the only one trained in the library? As of right, right now. now. The, um, I'll inquire with um, the firefighter who gave the training uh -huh. and see where they're at with their next grant round oh, and yeah. see what the plans are with that. Yeah. Sure. Hope we never have to use it. Yeah. But no. Yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know. certainly it's good to know the town has at least two. And, uh, and you can sprint down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> I can walk quickly down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, any other comments, observations, or questions? No, this reading program was really successful. Uh, That's not the reading program was really yes. successful. Yes, it was. Sorry. I, I said the reading program was extremely successful. I was seeing that. Those Two, were great numbers. 221 participants. That's terrific. That, that's at the party. And oh, oh, that was just at the party? Oh, yeah, there were. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, that was just the party. I see. That's really good. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, I, I don't know what the uh, raw numbers were, but 221 at the party. Yeah, it's a big party. Do we right? dare? <laughs> do we dare say one in five came? If that's the case, is all, all, all almost a thousand people. We had, we had um, one thousand two hundred twenty-five participants. One thousand two hundred twenty-five. Mm -hmm. and, and our population is. That's really great. Sixteen thousand. Yeah, but that's. Mm -hmm. a, what was the number again of yeah. participants in the summer reading program, Layla? It was one thousand two hundred twenty-five. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's very Congratulations to, to Congratulations everybody. to uh, particularly children's staff, but everybody worked really they hard. They did, and I and I mm -hmm. came in, and, and they all had, they all had shirts promoting it. Mm -hmm. They all went, were on board with it, and and um, it takes a it takes a whole team to, to achieve those kind of numbers and sure does, to it? to provide the services that that, that is required of, of everybody. Congratulations, too, to our. Uh, <coughs> fellow residents of East Long Meadow who provided the children. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. <laughs> and grandchildren. And grandchildren, that's yeah. right. Okay, I understand. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, that's exactly right. All right. Uh, do I hear a motion from someone to uh, uh, accept the uh, director's report as submitted? I'll make a motion you to will. accept. You will. All right. Yes. Is there a second for that motion? Second. Okay. Moved and seconded. Any other further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Accepted. Next item. Uh, for information purposes only, uh, Layla, the financial reports. Uh, I know you like to share those with us. Yes. And that would be. Uh, that would be. Oh, before we jump to that, I, I uh, apologize. I, I would like to, uh, uh, because I did have one last thing on your report, and it's a mm -hmm. good report. And thank you very much for uh, recognizing the, uh, because we're going to talk about it later. But recognizing the contributions that uh, the residents uh, of our town made in the completion of our strategic plan, which we're going to uh, make a final review of and uh, hopefully approve tonight for submission. Uh, the strategic plan steering committee consisted of our own Diane Tiago, Darcy Kane, Joanne Nickting, Dan Myers, Ron Micucci, who I just spoke to here, as a matter of fact, in the lobby about 15 minutes ago. Christina Cooper, Sue Grimaldi, Karen Decker, and uh, Layla Johnson kept all those cats heading in the right direction. So. Kept them all herded. Yeah. Good, good, good herding. Uh -huh. Thank you. Not thank, easy. Thank, uh, thank everybody. And as you see them in and around town, uh, tell them how much uh, you appreciate their their work on our behalf. Uh, it's great to have that involvement. All right, I Charlie, yes, of course. On that, on that note. I, I do want to say that uh, Layla did send a nice letter out to yes. to everybody who was on the committee. Terrific. Okay, after 
after we got the ball rolling. So uh, I just wanted to let you know. Very good. That's uh, that's excellent. I, uh, I would like to send my personal thanks at the appropriate time to uh, to Layla, and you can help me with that sure. if, you, if you don't mind. Yeah, maybe once it's um, submitted and approved, and we can let everybody know that it's on behalf of mm -hmm. uh, all the trustees. Mm -hmm. so sure. If, they, if that's you, a great you guys idea. think it's appropriate, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Now we really mean it. We're moving on to the next item, the financial reports for, for informational uh, purposes. Uh, Layla? Yeah, so if anyone has any questions, um, these are our most <coughs> current uh, fiscal reports that are produced in MUNIS. Um, it shows our general, the total general fund appropriation at the very bottom. Um, that's our town budget here. The next page is the one that we commonly refer to as state aid, um, state aid for public libraries. We use that generally to pay our network membership um, and our any technology related purchases. Under the column where it says available budget, if you go all the way down, it says 15,000 something. Yeah. That's the correct amount. Um, we've paid our network fee for this year, and I had um, Mr. Gray sign our application, which I'll be sending off tomorrow morning for this year's um, state aid award. And so as soon as we uh, receive notification on that, I'll let everyone know. Terrific. And uh, okay. Layla, it's good that you, uh, uh, as usual, uh, get these things in ahead of time. It's very important from our perspective to be first in line. Mm -hmm. I feel I feel like I'm behind, to be honest. Oh, no. Because oh, the, the, that, the financial part opened the beginning of September, but they didn't have the instructional workshops until I went to Monday's workshop. Okay. Um, but we're plenty ahead of the deadline, but I feel like I'm behind. But thank you You'd for... You'd rather have done it in yes. earlier September. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, because it, it's first come, first serve yes. for the award. Right. That's exactly right. <laughs> right. It's all right. We're, we're going to be middle of the pack. So I when does the so. award come in? Well, um, they will clo they close submissions October 6th. They'll evaluate them in November, and then their board has to vote on them in December. Yeah. So it'll be at some point in there, usually around January, December. February. Yeah, and then January, February, they'll start actually. Well, this is the first iteration for you. Uh, yes. And uh, if you went to the uh, workshop that mm -hmm. the state provides on Monday, came back here and slept most of the day yesterday, <laughs> Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Worked on it yesterday and gave it to us today. That's pretty fast work, so yeah. good yeah. going. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. With you with a nap? <laughs> <laughs> There's no napping no. there. <laughs> I was joking about the nap. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you. you. <laughs> so Melanie knows, too. The next page is our um, copier account. What that is is, you know, people pay... 15 cents a copy, and then that money is used to then provide toner, um, any repairs, any paper. Uh, it's not, it, it's just meant to recoup the cost of providing the service. And you pretty much, it pretty much covers it? Oh, it does. It yeah. does. yeah, it does. It's a, it's a it's convenience, a, it's, it's a convenience a, for our patrons. Yeah. And then the last page um, is what's known as the, the gift fund. So that would be where any um, fundraising or other uh, memorial donations, um, when people, uh, for example, um, if they misplace a book or they damage a book and they pay to have it replaced, that goes into this account and then we use that account to pay for that replacement item. Does anyone uh, have any questions about the uh, extract of the Munis report dated uh, September 18th, 2017? Uh, I assume, uh, Layla, from your perspective, there are no surprises here. No, not yet. <laughs> it's early in the years. No, no. See, that's, <laughs> see, that's not, not yet. Not yet is it? That doesn't provide the level of reassurance I had hoped for. But good. When, it, when the surprises do arise, keep us posted. I will. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> anything else, Layla? No, that's all. Thank you very much. New, we're moving on to new business. And... Uh, uh, that is uh, the final approval of the strategic plan 
for library services. And I think uh, Layla has uh, been efficient and has uh, distributed the yep. copies of the plan. And uh, I've uh, read it. I've read it over myself, and uh, I did have some thoughts that I shared with Diane Tiago as the secretary of the board. Um, and I think Diane, uh, as we run through the comments, uh, thoughts and comments, you may have some things you want to want to uh, volunteer. But I would just say uh, uh, it's been, it's a good report. It's a it's a good plan. Mm -hmm. It's it's a uh, very very uh, thorough plan, and it's a plan that reflects, I think, the needs of our community and. Uh, it certainly shows the involvement of the community, and not only that, but the involvement of the uh, staff of our library. And of course, this is a plan that supports both the community and our library staff. So, it, 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 it's a good plan, and I think it's a plan that uh, is going to be of great value to us. So, uh, Lala, would you li like to uh, start it off, and uh, what would you like to say about her? Sure. Well, again, um, I just want to thank everyone who participated <coughs> and filled out the survey. Um, it was a huge help to me as a relatively new director to really feel like I had the feedback of everyone who cares about the library, maybe a few people who don't care about the library, but the general community feedback overall. And I really want to thank again um, East Long Meadow and everybody who participated. Um, uh, Diane did bring to my attention a few changes that we'll make. There were some minor, mm -hmm. uh, minor. I uh, thought those were all great. Minor yeah. set up uh, arrangement uh, things for readability mostly. Yes. And uh, as we go through it, Diane will mention what they are. And uh, my hope would be once we've, because we've all had a chance to read it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think there was any uh, problem with the content. Uh, but the format changes, Diane will uh, maybe talk about them. Uh, and they're, they're minor, mm -hmm. believe me. Uh, and our hope would be uh, at the end of this review that we could then take the formal vote tonight, sign off mm -hmm. on it, and then Layla uh, <laughs> can get the report to the yes. Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners uh, before the deadline of October 1st. Is yes, that right? That's right. So we are ahead of the game. We are. And that's good. good. So uh, that being said, uh, uh, let me, if it's all right, maybe, do you have anything else you'd like to No, add? no, that's, we can forge ahead. Okay, let's, let's go ahead. Uh, uh, Diane, do you want to help with the turning uh, of the pages or yeah, would you like me to do it? For, okay, it, for, first page, I'd like to add the date of the report on the bottom right hand corner, uh, September 20th. 2017. That's today, folks. And uh, people looking at the cover of this will know that this is the date that, the, assuming we approve it, and, and I'm not necessarily trying to force that through, except I think that we're ready to approve it, in my own mind. Assuming we approve it, that's the date that we will have on the front of that cover of that, um, of that mm -hmm. uh, plan. Okay. Uh, I didn't see anything. Uh, Diane, is there anything on page two? No. Okay, page three, the mission statement uh, has the only change on that is a typograph, is a type, uh, is changing the word, is deleting the word proposed. This statement will now read uh, as follows. The mission of the East Long Middle Public Library is to provide free and equal access to information, resources, and technology. Its purpose is to help educate and enrich our community in response to the intellectual, educational, and cultural needs and input of its patrons. The library offers an extensive variety of materials for the purpose of study or enjoyment and supports literacy and lifelong learning for its town residents. So that's taken out the word proposed mm -hmm. and put the word mission as the very first word in that sentence. No other changes. Okay, mm -hmm. page four, no changes, Diane, right? Mm -hmm. Page five is a list of the Strategic Plan Steering Committee, which we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. Page six, the methodology used, and it was a good methodology, talking about 
focus groups and uh, a number of meetings uh, to solicit advice. Also, uh, questionnaires were distributed, and we ended up with, I think, over 300 uh, questionnaires being returned, and those are reflected back in the body of the report. 322 responses to the questionnaires that were um, sent in by interested uh, patrons. No changes in the wording on that methodology page, which is page six. Page seven, uh, Diane, I'm going to have to look for your help here. Okay. Uh, I know that you had some question about uh, the second to last sentence in the text, and then uh, the last uh, last uh, footnote on the bottom of the page, footnote number two on the very bottom of the page. Did you, were you able to resolve that question? Cafes, I guess? Yeah, is, yeah, is yeah that's right it's, it's, it's fine. Yeah. Cafe it, it, stands, okay, so that's done. C-A-F-E-S with an accent at U mm -hmm. over the E. Yeah. Very French, thank you very much. You're How appropriate that someone who's Italian is yeah. having <laughs> French words. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> <Help out. laughs> uh, multi -bin. Uh Okay, how about that footnote? Did we, were we able to resolve that? Uh, I think it's just a, a spacing thing. Um, you see the bottom where it says oh, transportation yeah. space S? Yeah, these are um, the two footnotes are direct hyperlinks. And what that means is these are copied directly from the URL where I access the article. Okay. So if we change that, it'll break the link and it won't be a, a so so the space source. is a part of the hyperlink. Yes. Good. So that that's not a typo. That it's not a right. typo. It needs that to be there. Yeah. That's the way it is. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Moving along at breakneck speed. Yes. Uh, if anyone has anything yes. as as we're going through here, uh, just slow me down. Page eight. I I didn't see any changes. The History of the town of East Long Meadow, I understand, is extracted from the history of the town of East Long Meadow. Uh, page nine, town governance, and that's uh, a remember that we uh, brought to uh, the attention of all that we did have a, uh, we did mention the major change in our town governance that happened last year. Uh, we had a minor change with the spelling of the Carlisle. former home of the Carlisle Hardware Store, which is right, oh, wait a minute, it's right over there. We <laughs> built our library on yeah, the, that's it. <laughs> on the uh, bones of the former Carlisle Hardware Store, as the longtime residents would remember. That's page 10. Page 11, a couple of things that I think we changed. Uh, Diane, with hmm. no Let's changes, see. really. Okay, on page 11. On page 11, yep. Page 11, if you go one, two, three, the fourth paragraph down, we're just being more specific. You know, most people just say when it comes to uh, a, a nonprofit organization, they just say like a 501c3, like everybody knows 501c3. So in order to be a little bit more specific, uh, I, um, in talking with Charlie, I thought to put in the words and IRC, which means Internal Revenue Code, Section 501c3. And it's just more specific, mm -hmm. and it will direct whoever's reading this as to... And what's it called? It, it, it's the... Inter IRC? Yep. Internal Revenue Code. Internal Revenue Code. In, so if part of the Internal Revenue Code is the 501c3. It's a, it's so it gets you to the right. That's exactly place. right. Yep. Okay. And yep. it, it's, it was, the 501c3 actually has a, a parenthesis after three also. Yeah. So oh. it, it, it's not a big deal, and everybody said it's like saying good morning for most people, but it, this is accurate and it's complete. And, and, and is when IRC someone, capitalized? Uh, IRC, all three caps, okay. and Speak, capital S section. Yeah. And then 501 parentheses C, close parentheses, parentheses three, close parentheses. Okay, so it's just to get you to the ex that, if exact site. If you go in that exact site, yep, then that, you can that will it. get you, it, it, it's perfect. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sort of like the Bible. Okay, anything else, uh, Diane, on that page, page, page 12? Page 12. Uh, the following were the top requests. This is an extraction of the survey, which 
Yeah. Which I thought was good. We, and I thought it was good that, uh, Lila, that you uh, consolidated the five top requests. People always ask, what were the things that most people asked about? And you've got it right here, the top five things. It's so, sort of like David Letterman's top ten list, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Almost as funny now that I think about it. The only uh, thought that I had was uh, add uh, to make it parallel, we have the words have in number one, address in number three, address in number four, and reconfigure in number five. A uh, number two, uh, add the word before more, so that we read promote more engagement with online users and digital collections. And then for each of those five sentences, add a period at the end. That basically makes it parallel within the text. And it's uh, easier to read mm -hmm. and a little neater. And I had suggested uh, on, on number one on that one, uh, instead of say have the library open, I had suggested open the library. Oh, you know, that's just better. Yes. Mm -hmm. open the library. Open, open the library on Saturday. Saturdays. Yeah, that's much cleaner. cleaner. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. it, it's like, Less language, yes. but says it's the same thing. It's good. It's mm -hmm. good. It really, it really gets the most uh, important word of the sentence right up front. Right. Okay. And these are direct um, feedback. Yes. Number so the following ones that are in quotes are direct quotes okay. from uh, written feedback that community oh, members yes. gave so us. Oh yes, those are those are those are good. I thought yeah, you did I a good so job too. of picking them. Anybody have anything for page 13? Okay, moving on to page 14. Goals with objectives. Uh, under two, uh, minor change only for readability, I think. Uh, 2A, invest, change, change it to read as follows. Investigate the feasibility of implementing. Yeah, yeah that's right. Okay of implementing Saturday hours year-round. And the others uh, are unchanged. Uh, there's a question about the hanging E on the bottom yes, of our draft. Yes, I saw copy. that. Yeah, yeah. Take that out of there. That's, that's, that doesn't tag into anything? No. Okay. And, uh, Down at the very bottom. Down at the, just the very bottom. bottom. Yeah. You know, what happens is, is when you're working with Word, sometimes when you mm -hmm. hit it, yeah, it, it automatically will right. put oh, yeah. the next yeah, I know. It, it just crazy. wants me to make more and more of those goals and objectives. <laughs> yeah. Just keep going. You don't have enough. There's no stopping. Uh, page uh, 15. Uh, this is uh, this is really. I think it's it's really come together. Now I don't think that uh, we weren't we didn't. Uh, okay. Uh, Diane, you have a clean copy, and yeah. I, I've seen it s since you sent it to me right. earlier this afternoon. Right. Um, uh, there, there are no changes to the words. Okay. So that what we have in front of us, wording is unchanged. But what Diane has done is made a slight change in the layout, in the bolds, and in the indentations. Thank you. So that uh, it's it's readable, and I would like you to just pass this around so everybody could look at the it, new setup. It's more friendly. It's friendly. <laughs> okay, so friendly. all the yeah the the goals are all a, a larger font. Okay. And then. And capital. Oh yeah, you'll yeah. see. I'm okay. gonna pass this around. Right. Just take and, a quick and, look at it. And you'll see th this is. And, and I put bullets. You see how much easier? Yeah, 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 yeah. See how much easier like that is to see, read? You see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the bullets too. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. And it flows. I think. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Yeah, see, and you can it jumps out at you. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, pass it around. Don't hog it. <laughs> Jeez, Charlie. I know, I know. The words haven't changed, it's just the format. Right. Read for um, format only. Go back to these goals on oh, page back. 14. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. This is the crucial test. Hmm. 
Very nice. Oh, Mella, you're the best. <laughs> I it, said to Diane, like, you, you I told... You can see the difference between yes. the goal and the objective. It's yeah, easier, objective. isn't it? Easier to read. I t said Diane was the best, but you it's really... It's easy are. on the objective. <laughs> It's easy. Yeah. It depends, on, depends on what you want. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it may change. <laughs> Don't forget it either. You know all right. All right. You can compare them both side to side at the same time. Okay. That's good. Jenny? Yeah. Is it good? You okay with that? Perfect. You should all be careful. Okay. What's that? No? Believe it or not. No. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's the format. And uh, good job on that, uh, Diane. I think that for readability, that's yeah. terrific, especially since the goals and objectives are so important for us going forward. And uh, I have no changes on page 16. Okay, anybody have any comments on the, that first part of the plan? And we're moving on rapidly to Appendix, uh, appendix A, which frankly, uh, is a recap of the survey details. And uh, we talked in the last meeting about some of the uh, statistics that jumped out at us. I won't, I won't dwell on them at this time, but I'm sure that the statistics will come up. This is, there's a wealth of information on these, on these pages of these uh, extracts from the survey. And uh, I think uh, anybody who looks it over will be very, very yeah. uh, interested and very pleasantly surprised by uh, what the opinions of the, well, they may not be surprised, but they'll be very comforted by the shared opinions of the people who have responded to the survey. Um, yes. Mr. Chairman, yes. if I may make a suggestion, it All just right. ca caught my eye, and Layla, because it, these are on your computer, yes. uh, what happens is, is Appendix A um, and it is in, <laughs> this is just oh, me being picky, oh. um, is in bold. I just thought maybe Appendix B should be in bold. Oh, sure. And, and we refer to Appendix C, C but, but what happens is, is our technology plan isn't referred to on this page as Appendix yeah, C. Yeah, I, I thought the same. So if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, that's fine. Great, that's good. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's always good to have larger. someone. The font like me, I can't change, unfortunately, because that's from a, it was generated from SurveyMonkey. Oh. For the appendix A. Can you overwrite it? Can no. you? No. I don't mean overwrite. No, no. Can you add the appendix B, appendix C? Yes, definitely. Yeah. That, that's all I was looking at. That, Just to be consistent. It's, a, it's a consistent yes. kind of and thing. That's, that, that's a good suggestion. That's why we're doing this as a group. The, the, none, of the, none, of the, uh, none of the findings, words, or results have changed at all on appendix A. Okay? No. Just the just just words. And, uh, same, I assume, with Appendix B. This is the uh, <coughs> SOAR exercises. Uh, this basically is extract of the uh, flip charts that were worked on, uh, I assume, by the, uh, yeah. by the members of the committee and the uh, brainstorming sessions, and it's pretty good. Uh, uh, but there, there are pages of comments, and uh, all of them are, I'm sure, stimulating, and uh, it certainly makes uh, makes it clear that a lot of the aspects of many of uh, of our library uh, functions, day in day out, have been uh, considered and talked about, and uh, are reflected in the plan. Um, Does uh, anybody have any comments on uh, Appendix B? We haven't made any changes that I see on Appendix B. Right? Right, right. Diane? Right. 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 I know. That so the, technology is Appendix C, correct? Yes, and I'll add that. I'll add that to the title. Does that? I had a couple. Yeah. Of notes for Appendix C that I wasn't sure about, but um, where it, it says services provided to the public, um, do 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 they don't you have the magazine database um, for is it Zena Zinio Zinio yes 
Should that be in there? Um, or did you leave it out because you don't want that much in there? Well, I, I think... And the genealogy uh, used to have one, too. Well, maybe we could job. say, instead of saying business and general reference databases, we mm -hmm. could expand that a little bit more. We could say business, general, genealogy, and, and periodical. Uh, periodical databases. Do you want something like that? I think so, because sure. I think that's a great service. And I can understand you can't put every service in there. I yeah. understand that. But I just thought... Um, People might not be uh, as maybe, aware maybe, of that. Maybe uh, uh, something like uh, databases such as, so it wouldn't be considered to be all inclusive, but there are some examples. Sure. Or some, yeah. Would that, would that, right. would that yeah, I, I, I'd yeah. like the, it, the Zenio to, to uh, be, is that how you say it? Zinio, yes, yeah. but of course they just changed it. Oh, now it's RV Digital. Oh, boy. Oh, well, just so, the, just so the public reading this yes. would be aware that that's a, that's a fantastic service. Uh, doesn't, change the, uh, doesn't change the report per se. It, would, it simply adds a little bit of clarification yeah. and additional mm -hmm. words, right? Yeah. What's it called now? RV? RV Digital, and there are bookmarks in the lobby that are updated that have the updated name for it. And it also, currently, when you look at the home page of the website, it will say RV Digital, formerly Zinio. Uh-huh. Because you know what it is, is they change it every couple of years, and yeah. everybody has to learn yeah, again. Yeah, so you probably don't, maybe don't want to put the name in there. Maybe you just... But the periodical the database, database, that right. would cover it, for sure. Oh, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if you said business general, periodical. And genealogy. And genealogy. And that, so that would cover that would Ancestry cover and Heritage it. Quest. Yeah. You uh, get the drift of where Cindy's heading. Yeah. yeah. You, can, you can do yeah. that. Definitely. Definitely. Nothing, mm -hmm. nothing yeah. really has changed, which no. is adding a little curve. Sure. Yeah, yeah just a The uh, Appendix B, SOAR, uh, and here I am talking in acronyms, SOAR, S-O-A-R, uh, the acronym stands for uh, at a review of strengths, objective, uh, strengths, opportunities, aspirations, and results. And the SOAR uh, approach is uh, really a uh, track to run on as people are doing brainstorm exercises, trying to be sure that they capture all of the things that are of interest to the participants. So this, this is a valuable uh, appendix, uh, too, and it is interesting. Um, Appendix 3, the technology plan, uh, I did have a couple of things on that, and uh, uh, I'm going to give this to Diane after I talk about it. Uh, we talked about, we agreed actually to do this, and uh, I know there were no changes in the substance of this technology plan, but um, I really feel like uh, we could spell out the what the letters MLS means, MLA, ALA means, yeah, and uh, VOIP, uh, and and uh, and that's it. Uh, the other thing is, uh, I would I'm going to give you this, Diane. Okay. Uh, is that I would RFID? I don't know what that is either. Mm -hmm. uh, rural free delivery, mm -hmm. Rur rural free internet delivery. No, mm -hmm. it doesn't work. But uh, if we could put. Anytime the abbreviations show up the first time, put the, the translation in if we can, if it makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, there, there, there are things that are in the normal usage uh, that we don't have to, we don't have to decode. But things that uh, you know, I might know uh, ALA as a, as a, lib as a, uh, a car service provider. Uh, uh, for hauling your car, but it's really the American Library Association. So if we put it in there, or MIA, missing in action for the for the military people in us, or it's not MIA, is it? It's MLA. <laughs> but Massachusetts Library Association, MLS, all those all those abbreviations are uh, like alphabet soup. And yeah. uh, for readability, because this is going to be read by the uninitiated public. Or the interested public, even more importantly, people appreciate the effort, so they don't have to say, "What the heck is that?" Yeah. Uh, that would be the only thing. There's no changes to the text, and then to make this parallel, you right. see what I said? Yep. And then um, all of those, and that's it. So, 
Uh, does anyone have any other thoughts about uh, the basic uh, document and the three appendices? What I would, and then what I would like to propose then, and I think we pretty much, uh, I think we are in agreement on the text mm -hmm. uh, as uh, with the uh, minor uh, adjustments, modifications, as, as we've talked about tonight. Uh, what I would like to propose is that we, uh, if everyone's comfortable with it, and I, I would defer to anybody who has reservations, but well, we have had a period of time to review it, review it and talk about it um, among ourselves and uh, privately, which is always helpful. Uh, if no one has any objections, I'd like to entertain a motion to approve the uh, strategic plan for library services for the East Long Meadow Public Library for fiscal years 2019 through 2024. Uh, it's a five-year plan. This is a plan that will be submitted to the Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners and uh, for their approval. Once it's approved, we will then be eligible to apply for additional grants. And uh, I'm hopeful that with a plan of this quality that we will now be able to get additional grants uh, from the state of Massachusetts. More importantly, perhaps, is that we now will have an up-to-date track to run on uh, for the running of our library for into the future for for our town, and, and that is very, very important. Now, the plan itself, of course, is not static. Things change. We know that in libraries particularly, technology is having great impact on us every single day, and we anticipate that the plan will change. But having it in this format, <clears throat> with this degree of thought and this degree of insight, will allow us to go into the plan at any point in time and simply modify the plan, add to it, uh, and uh, adapt the priorities. I talked with Lila about this, and she is in 100% agreement. In fact, she mentioned that the staff had had uh, an opportunity to talk about aspects of the plan, and that in the future, uh, <coughs> she anticipated having yearly, at least yearly meetings, and probably <laughs> probably every day, frankly, but. Uh, to review the plan and ask if there's anything that we should be considering. And I would hope as a group that we would be able to do the same thing right. uh, month by month or certainly periodically as, as the year goes by or as the next five years go by. That's healthy, that's good, and this is the document that will allow us to do it. Okay? So, that being said, I'd entertain a motion to approve this plan and uh, uh, give Lila the uh, authorization to submit it on our behalf because this is a plan that requires the vote. Uh, the state requires a vote by the Board of Library Trustees and uh, we would vote for it, approve it, sign off on it tonight and then give uh, Lila, uh, uh, ask Lila to submit it to the Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners uh, on our behalf. Does uh, someone would someone like to make that motion? Ginny, would you like to make that motion? <laughs> huh? The most senior member of our board. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I so move. You so move. All right. Anyone like to second that motion? The most junior member of our board. How appropriate. I will Melanie. Second that. I will second that. Melanie Mannheim will Thanks second. So. Okay. Move. The motion has been moved and seconded. Um, does anyone have any additional? Comments. I feel like I should give you all a high five. Well, let's get the vote. <laughs> we should give you a high five. Let's get the vote. We've got to give you a lot of work. Uh, we no, work. See, no additional other than other than the the premature congratulations right. offered by our director. <laughs> thank you very much. I'll say thank you again later on. Uh, very soon, I hope. Uh, the motion has been moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 No, no, one, no one is opposed. Uh, the motion carries, and uh, good job. Now, you may congratulate Now I can give you the high five. <laughs> high five. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. High five to you. Layla, you've done a great job, and uh, I can only say on behalf of the 
entire community, uh, well, you know how I feel about this and how the other trustees feel about this. Equally important. Uh, so do we feel comfortable um, signing the sheet? Yes. Uh, just pass our, it around? our very efficient uh, secretary has prepared a blank sheet. That's fantastic. And uh, I will sign it right now. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'll, okay. use, I'll use your pen. Do you want me to use your pen? I have a pen. Okay. Uh, uh, approved by vote of the library, uh, approved by vote of the Board of Library Trustees on September 20th, 2017. And this is simply uh, an extract uh, of the sheet that shows our approval. This is what goes forward to the state. The original will go to the state with our signatures on it. And um, the copies will be uh, ultimately available uh, online. And there will be a master copy uh, behind the uh, central circulation desk in our lobby uh, for people who just want to pick it up and look it over while they're in the library but they certainly can get it online uh, at any time in the future, once it's approved by, yes. Yes. by the bigwigs in Boston. Mr. Vice Chairman. Madam Secretary, very nice. Good job, folks. Thank you. I will guard it with my mouth. <laughs> 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 Just kidding. That, uh, that uh, noise that uh, I heard from this end of the table was a sigh of relief yeah, yeah. from our director, I think. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Thank you very much for Thank your you. help and uh, cooperation. This is uh, its terrific. It's a good piece of work, and uh, I think it's something I, our town can be proud of. All right, moving on. Uh, I don't know where, I have three things I'd like to ask Lila about, and it's probably somewhere between new business and old business, but I, I think I, okay. it's all right with you. I, I, I'll bring it up right now, bring them up right now. Uh, you mentioned you went to the State Aid to Public Libraries workshop. Yes. Uh, could you... Maybe in a couple of sentences or whatever you feel is appropriate, share with us what that what that workshop, who provided it, what uh, who provided the workshop, what kinds of information was shared with you, and uh, uh, how it is going to be valuable to us uh, going forward. How sure. the information provided is going to be valuable to us going forward. So um, the location of the workshop was held at the Massachusetts Library System offices in Northampton. The person conducting the workshop was with the Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners. Her name is Liz Babbitt. She is the state aid specialist. And so she um, gave an overview of any changes that were made to financial reporting, which um, we have to provide documentation that we have been uh, allocated a certain um, financial amount every year by the town, and uh, we submit the financial report which demonstrates that we did receive those funds which we did um, that leads us to being certified and that enables us to lend materials to people from any residency in Massachusetts as well as uh, request materials from other libraries all throughout Massachusetts it's part of what makes the Massachusetts library system one of the strongest in the country is that resource sharing um, so as part of being certified means that we have to demonstrate that we have a certain amount of support. Um, she did document any changes from last year's reporting um, and then indicated that good news for this year is that uh, State Aid did receive a 1% increase. Oh, it's good. 
So every year it's been either flat or even reduced in the past. Um, we're still not quite yet up to um, 2006 levels, but we did receive a small increase, so we're going to be grateful for that. That's grateful we didn't receive a cut. Yeah, and there, were, there had been cuts previously yes. in previous years. Um, so that was kind of the overview of the workshop. We went over the forms, went over the documents that needed to be provided. Um, that then enabled me to fill out the required documents and send them off to the state who then will review those and determine the award that we get. And so the award will be based in part on um, how many out-of-town residents we also uh, serve. And that's true for any library in Massachusetts. You are compensated a little bit for, um, for example, I live in Springfield but I use East Long Meadow Library since, I, since I'm the director here. And so for every transaction, we're then compensated an amount uh, by the state to just help keep libraries all on that level playing field and to encourage the resource sharing. So you need to take out a lot of things. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, is, uh, it is done by formula. Yes. And uh, that's why it's very important that we capture accurate um, data. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as usage, circulation, and uh, services provided to all of our patrons. Mm -hmm. And uh, that report that you prepared and submitted is very important to us. And uh, they do look at the funding. Mm -hmm. And if the funding is cut uh, from the local funding, then uh, the support that the state gives is also reduced. And that's a double whammy. It, yeah. it kills our library. It kills a, any library. Uh, when local funding goes away and state funding is then reduced because of the lack of support by the local funding uh, mechanism, it just kills a library. And it's like a death spiral for mm -hmm. a library. So this is a very important report. Very important. In my view. In my view as well. Okay, good. I think we all are in agreement with that. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. The second thing I uh, thank you, that's a very helpful update. Uh, the CW, uh, CWMR is meeting that uh, was held here in this library. Is that where it was held? Correct. And you hosted it? Yes. Were you friendly? I was, I was extremely fun, friendly. Uh, Good. That's the, nice. the community room, we had 60, 60 directors could you, could in there. Could you say? So it was could you 60 uh, directors of libraries from uh, Western Massachusetts? Central and Western Mass. Central yeah. and Western Mass. Mm -hmm. Could you say something about that? Sure. Um, so every quarter, so four times a year, um, uh, Users Council are all of the directors of the libraries that participate in um, our consortia, which is called CW Mars, which is our catalog. Um, they will come together and discuss policy, and um, this, this user's council was a vote on our assessments, which is what our state aid is used to pay for. So it's been a lot on my brain the last couple days. Mm -hmm. um, and so we also discussed uh, changes, for example, to overdrive, the digital lending. Um, some patrons were expressing concern at different libraries that they simply didn't have enough time to finish a book with the checkout that's, limit being only true. two weeks. Okay. And so now effective probably next week, um, there will be an optional three-week checkout uh, for patrons to choose. We'll see what happens to the holds ratio, which yeah, is the amount exactly. of how many people have requested an item compared to it's how many are balance. available. Yeah, but this does help bring, uh, and this is just an example of the kind of things that kind of changes that will impact our patrons. It does help bring the digital book collection more in line with the rules for our print collection because you can check out print books for three weeks. Mm -hmm. And so as libraries slowly become uh, lenders of more digital resources, um, we want to be less limiting if we can and make sure people have enough time to finish their books. So we'll do an assessment again after the policy has been in place for about six months to see does that mean everyone's waiting longer for that copy of the book or have we been able to then keep up with um, holds and still keep the ratios down. I hope I'm not using too much jargon, but. No, but can I ask you a question about mm -hmm. overdrive? Um, it, are more and more libraries contributing dollars into yes. the overdrive kitty? Yes. Or, or um, pool? It was either last year or the year before, CW Mars went to, as part of every library's assessment, 
a certain amount will be contributed to overdrive. Is it mandatory? Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh well, that's good. and that was new. That was a change. Yeah, because it wasn't before, and mm -hmm. and I and I think that will help to keep yep. some of the that um, wait time right, which was getting considerable. Almost every book you went to was holes on it for a long. There's time. a new feature in Overdrive also, and that's a um, recommend this title. So if a patron is searching for a title, and we don't have it in the digital collection, it will send a notification. That's great to CW Mars, if That's five great. unique requests come in, it can't just be that one person who so wants, you know. So you have to have five friends. <laughs> <laughs> so get your five friends to sign up for Overdrive, <laughs> send in their recommended purchase, um, and they will add it to the collection. So that's just another way that we're trying to meet the demand. constantly improve what we're offering awesome. and keep everybody up to date. So uh, during the course of the meeting that was mm -hmm. held here in this library, these changes were uh, voted on and implemented. Correct. And uh, how must are you? Must have fed they, them well. Uh, I understand. <laughs> what's that, Cindy? What's she that? must have fed them well. I understand <laughs> that. Uh, well, you have. Uh, you were elected to. Uh, what is your official title? The uh, executive committee. To the executive committee of CW Mars, and uh, so you're already working your magic. Uh, thank you, and uh, you have. Uh, or your, your group uh, being able to, uh, as a group, meet and talk and, and change uh, policies and procedures for the benefit of the patrons, I think that's terrific. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's good news for, mm -hmm. for all of us. Uh, and uh, how are you enjoying your time as the exec member of the executive committee? So far it's been very educational because I'm, you know, I'm new to the committee. Um, and what usually happens is people will, for example, Overdrive was brought up at the June session of Users Council. Couldn't really get a consensus because there are so many different kinds of libraries mm -hmm. in Western Mass. Yeah. Tiny to, you know, Springfield serves over 150,000. Um, and so the directors talked about it for a little bit and said, you know what, send it back to the executive committee. Let them make a recommendation. We then talked about it at our monthly meetings. Mm -hmm. Our recommendation was to do what... Um, the other networks are doing, which are the networks on the East Coast, and they're all offering that three-week option. Smart. Good for you. Now, do the yeah. small libraries also have to contribute so much to the digital collection? Uh, they do, but it's all determined by, by a, a formula. So, yeah. So. Okay. Because mm -hmm. that um, could be a real hardship for some of them. Right. Yeah, exactly. Some of these towns have uh, nothing. Yeah. very, very few... Uh, they many of them operate under uh, with volunteers. Right. Uh, uh, very few employees uh, in the libraries, which is a little different than what we're we're used to around here. But they do need support. Mm -hmm. They do need support. And in the hill towns, there's still some hill towns that don't even have internet yet. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's pretty. Nice. And that's a real challenge for CW Mark. Right. Okay. Uh, we'll, we hope to keep keep us posted. That's I very will. interesting. You can tell we're interested in that stuff. The last thing, uh, this is sort of fun, but uh, I think it bears uh, mentioning because of your uh, efforts for community outreach. Uh, and I'm probably a little behind the time, but I never did uh, touch base to close the loop on your visit with the Rotary Club. Oh, October 12th. Oh, it's coming up. Yes, okay. I haven't had it yet. Okay, October so it, 12th, it didn't I happen in September. It's, it, it's in October. Okay. Right. I'll let Tell everybody us what know happened. the October meeting. Yeah, yeah. yeah I went to one. Very good. Yeah. So, uh, good. anything else on their new business? We're now moving to old business. Uh, anything else, folks? That's good. That's very, very helpful, Layla. Um, Diane had asked uh, that uh, the policy on social media uh, not fall through the cracks. Yeah. And, and, and that's good. To, we don't want it to fall through the cracks. Um, I, I would ask you, I know you've been very busy, uh, Leila, uh, and we talked the last time about this. this. This was back in the spring. And I know we were going to do a little bit more research. Um, and I apologize. I, if if uh, the research was has been completed and I didn't see it, I'm sorry I didn't see it. Maybe you can refresh my memory. But I know that you, uh, we had agreed that we were going to look around and see what uh, other libraries mm -hmm. in the area were doing. And if we could get a copy of their policies, if there are such policies, 
uh, for our review, uh, we would review them before we tried to create something out of whole cloth. Sure. Have we been able to do that yet? I yes. know. Th uh, um, we do have uh, Springfield's and also Hubbard's policy in Ludlow. Ludlow, okay. Yeah. This is also um, a book that I referenced, and it has a chapter on company-sponsored social media. This is a NOLO um, book, and they're known for their legal guides oh. that they publish um, so that it can cover things like with company or organization-sponsored social media, who can post, who's responsible for the posting, how do you then um, ensure that you're monitoring comments on the page and on the site? And then this one also has a couple of example policies in here. Okay. I think Diane brought with her. I, I did, Charlie. I went on and I went let to me, uh, Let me, let me, I have not had a chance to see this yet. Okay. Sure. Uh, no, no. Let me just, uh, without having, this is probably good. I don't have the benefit of knowledge, which is always good. <laughs> I have not had a chance to look at the book about uh, implementing social uh, control of social um, sites with business through businesses. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're not a business. No, it's for organizations too. Uh, okay, but I haven't had a chance to read that book. Right. I have not had a chance to read the stuff from the binder. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, this is pretty. Um, from a legal point of view, there's a reason why businesses want a book like that mm -hmm. or other organizations want a book like that. They have legal staffs. They have resources to support the legal challenges that are going to come when any time when content is modified uh, unilaterally and, and, and when, when content is changed. Um, and that's a very important thing we have to keep in the back of our mind as we review our policy. And, and so I want to be sure that we get it right, uh, because it is important. Mm -hmm. I want to be sure that uh, we recognize our position. We don't have a lot, we, we don't have a lot of legal people. We don't even have a lot of staff. We have 18 people on our staff. We don't have a lot of staff to dedicate to uh, uh, policing, administering, uh, editing, changing, uh, uh, any of this stuff that's going to be going on to the uh, social networks that we're now uh, participating in. That being said, I, I believe it's important that we have a policy, but I want to try to do it right. right. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a good start, okay? Now, I do have a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of them would be answered if I had a chance to read the policies from Hubbard Library in, in, in um, uh, I'm saying Palmer, it's not Palmer, it's Ludlow, mm -hmm. and, uh, and Springfield Library. Are there any others that you know of? Oh, nearly every library has a social media policy. Okay, could you pick up a couple? So, so I that... can get you some more if you want. Yes. Yeah. Does Longmeadow I'm sure they do. That would be, yeah. Long, uh, Longmeadow and yeah. Wolverham yeah. usually are pretty forward thinking, yeah. so they may, they may be in the same boat we are, which is developing their policies, that's fine, I'd like to know that. Uh, but I, it's, it's helpful because when we first talked about it, Oh, you can uh, count that. I can have this. This you is can, terrific. You can, you can count that. Well, this oh. is hot off the press. It, it looks it, like it's dated uh, today. Today. Yep. That's pretty good. Yep. Is there anybody else I can forward that yeah. information? Uh, uh, I would right. too. I think everyone should. I, I, okay. I think this is good. And it looks like this has been enforced in Springfield since 2010, mm -hmm. May 5th of 2010. So, you know, if they haven't had any problems with it. We're heading in the right direction. I yep. don't know about Hubbard. Let's see. Uh, it looks like well, I don't. I don't see a date on this, but uh, November third, twenty fifteen. So this is two years old for Hubbard. So this is good. And this will be helpful to me if I could. And, and, and can uh, you forward that via email? Yeah. Yeah. Do we have all our emails? Yep. I, yeah. Well, does I everyone know. feel the same as I do? Yes. This is important stuff. It is. Nice to and uh, would you make sure that Jenny uh, gets uh, gets There's copies? Yes. One in the box. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In the box. Thank you. Uh, so having said that, and having already done some heavy lifting, is it appropriate that we uh, table this? Uh, could, uh, yes. 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 Diane will keep us, keep us uh, <laughs> on track.
Yeah. Uh, it's not going to go away, but uh, and I can have these two. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll put them in the archive. I'll put them in my files. I'll read them. All right. So we'll table that until next yeah. time. Yeah. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. No. Yep. We just wanted to make sure we keep kept on, it on the agenda. Keep on keeping on. And in the right. meantime, yeah. um, I'm not. Frankly, I'm not going to have a chance to sit down and read the book. But I will stop by within the next uh, few days and uh, either sit in the reading area upstairs <laughs> okay. and read it. Well, I can I'll always make a copy of just the pertinent go, go, information. That'd be great. Yeah, Could I'll you do, do that? that? Yeah, would, you that would sit be, on the beach and read it. That would be the beach reading. Thank you. Thank you. Get sand in it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that'd be great. That would be great. And yeah. maybe maybe everyone could get it. Sure. Too. Um, that'd, be, that'd be terrific. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. And thank you, Diane, for keeping us uh, on the track. Uh, this is uh, very important. and. Uh, it's something that's not going to go away. It's going to become more and more important. I want to do it. I want to be sure that we position ourselves so that we're not wasting resources fighting the fight that doesn't need to be fought. And we're going to do the right thing by everybody. So, uh, moving on. Other business, and uh, I never know who to recognize. I'm going to recognize Melanie. Yep, for the friends. Mannheim uh, for the Library Friends news. Melody, well, the, what do you got? the Halloween basket fundraising event is going to start soon. It starts on October 2nd with a drawing on October 27th. And National Friends Week is October 15th through the 21st. So that whole week they're going to be uh, hopefully getting more members to the Friends. As of uh, September 1st, we have 411 members. Uh, friends members who have joined and uh, comes with all the museum passes and benefits and uh, the chocolate tasting in February and all those wonderful additions to it and uh, it's going well so little by little uh, the funds are adding up and mm -hmm. of course we give 100% uh, of the funds to the library mm -hmm. so it's nice uh, it is huge yes. it's, uh, it's, it's terrific uh, and uh, I like the wording that um, the drafting committee put into the strategic plan about the Friends, uh, uh, how important the uh, Friends are to our enterprise. Uh, uh, can't find it right off the top of my head, but it was uh, it was really uh, very well done. Uh, and uh, I'm just saying for Friends Week, I, I've seen years past my good friend Tom Wachowski wandering around the library in the front rotunda here, or in the front atrium, uh, recruiting people to... Uh, Charlie, is that what you're looking for? That's exactly what I'm looking for. Thank you. You're welcome. Looking secretary, I'll tell you the best. Uh, Signing people up. He, had, he actually had a, uh, a graph one year, I think. It's he's, with the thermostat. With the thermostat. It, yeah, he's a very persuasive yeah, guy. He's a very persuasive guy. I, I, I may have signed him three or four times. He probably did. We signed up with him. One, did you one, really? One evening, I remember. Well, we that's were in good the for you. Department. Yeah. yeah, and so that's how I met story him. Us, right? uh, ask a friend to invite a friend. The strongest members of enterprises, clubs, groups, and organizations are those people who were invited to join those enterprises by f people who are current members. So the best place to recruit future members is by having current members recruit them. It's very, very powerful. Uh, in addition, the Friends of the Public, uh, Friends of the East Ohio Public Library uh, is a valued source of support for library programs. Friends hold ongoing fundraisers. We just heard about some, such as mini golf for families in the library and an ongoing used bookstore, book sale. Without the support of the Friends, the library would not be able to offer enriching, entertaining, and educational program for town and residents. So we've said it. We believe it, and it's in our plan. Thank the people on our behalf, will you? Thank you. Thank you. Anybody have anything else? That's terrific. All right. I've uh, misplaced my agenda. Uh, is there any other business to come before our meeting? Uh, the next meeting uh, has been scheduled. Uh, Layla, uh, have we reached agreement to schedule it for Wednesday, October 25th? Yes. Okay, so that would require a small modification to the sheet you have in front of you. Wednesday, October 25th, same time, 
same station, come early, stay late. Any other items to come before this meeting? Uh, Layla, you, you'll tell us if the meeting's in a different place. Correct. Yeah. I'll check the calendar tomorrow and let everybody know. Okay. Okay. All right, great. Any, uh, we'll anything else to come meeting. before the meeting? <laughs> Uh, do I hear a motion to adjourn? I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. So to moved. I'll second it. Moved and second. All in favor? Aye. We are adjourned.